friends, I hope you are feeling great. Today we are going to sing about fascinating, mesmerizing, wonderful trees. Did you know that on our planet Earth we do have more than 3 trillion trees? That's about 400 trees for every single person that lives on the planet. Trees provide us with oxygen so we can breathe. Trees are made into instruments and furniture. Some trees are processed into medicine, which makes us feel better. Isn't that wonderful? And let's not forget that trees provide us with shelter and shade. Trees are simply mesmerizing, beautiful and wonderful. And we can also eat some parts of the trees, for example, the edible nuts and the edible fruits. So cool, so wonderful. And last but not least, millions of species rely on trees for their home, for their habitat, because they live in, on and around trees. Let's sing some songs that cherish and admire trees. Let's get started. And later, I'm also going to show you how to make a beautiful tree craft with parts of a tree. Our first song of today is called two little apples hanging in a tree and i know those two apples i brought today are rather huge but that's all right the song is all about you shaking the apple tree so that its juicy fruits fall down and you can enjoy them it goes like this two little apples hanging in a tree two little apples smiling at me i shook the tree as hard as i could down fell the apples Mmm, they were good, so good. Now, if you don't have apples for the song, that's all right. You're just gonna use your fists. Let's sing the song. Two little apples hanging in a tree. Oh, two little apples smiling at me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. song is called Oh in the Woods and Oh in the Woods is an accumulative song which means that we are going to add more and more lines to the song as we sing it and the lines are all about the parts of this beautiful tree here. I'm going to show you how it works. Oh in the woods there was a tree, the prettiest little tree that you ever did see. Now the tree in a hole and a hole in the ground and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Now on the tree there was a branch, and on the branch there was a twig, and on the twig there was a leaf, and on the leaf there was a nest, and in the nest there was an egg, and in the egg there was a bird, and on the bird there was a wing and on the wing there was a bug. All right, you have to remember all those parts, but you can always have a look at the beautiful picture or make one yourself. Let's sing the song. Oh, in the woods there was a tree, the prettiest little tree that you ever did see. Now the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground, green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Prettiest little branch that you ever did see. Not a branch with a tree and a tree and a hole, hole in the ground. Green grass grew all around and around and the green grass grew all around. Now on that branch there was a twig, the prettiest little twig that you ever did see. Not a twig on a branch and a branch on a tree, tree and a hole and a hole in the ground. Green grass grew all around and around and the green grass grew all around. Now on that twig there was a leaf, the prettiest little leaf that you ever did see. Not a leaf on a tree. Not a nest and a leaf and a leaf and a twig and a twig and a branch, branch and a tree and a tree. 
today is called If I Were a Tree. It's all about you being a magnificent, wonderful tree. So choose which tree do you want to be and be that tree. Now in the song, we are going to sing about the shared characteristics of a tree. When you hear the part about the trunk, you are going to stand strong and tall and grow all the way into the sky with your feet rooting you down to the ground. When you hear the part about the branches, you let your arms move softly in the wind. And when we sing about the leaves, you are going to wiggle your fingers and let your leaves, your leaf fingers, whirl and twirl down to the ground. All right, let's be trees and sing the song. Here we go. I will tree, what a tree I'd be. So what do you need for this project? Most importantly, you need twigs. So I would suggest you go on a nature hike and you collect some of the twigs you find on the way and then you break them up into smaller pieces. You also need a piece of cardboard. And since today I'm going to show you how to make a tree of all the four seasons, you need some paint Yeah, for the spring and the summer tree. You would need some cotton balls for the winter tree that's going to be snow and then i brought some pressed leaves for the fall tree we also need uh, some tape so we can fix the cardboard to the table and the cardboard won't slip and also important some glue so we can glue the twigs onto the cardboard now let's get started with making the tree you take your pieces of twig yeah and place them onto the cardboard to make a tree and uh, I would suggest you wait with the glue for a little while you make sure you like the tree as it is and only then you start to glue on the pieces let's go my tree is ready to be glued now you do not need a hot glue gun for this project if you follow the instructions so you take your glue and you take your first piece of trunk you apply the glue yeah onto this piece of twig and then you place it onto the cardboard all right and what's really important is that you press down onto the twig 
yeah and you count at least until 10 then you let go and now you still need the glue to dry until you can decorate the branches and the twigs of the tree yeah so that's how you will proceed with every single piece of twig on your cardboard This is my tree. I'm really happy how it turned out. As you can see, all the four seasons are represented on this tree. It starts with winter time, then we have some green leaves for the spring, some red and yellow for the summertime, and some pressed colorful leaves that represent the fall season. I'm really happy with it. I think it's really beautiful. And maybe you saw that I used a Q-tip to apply the paint. Now you might think down there something is still missing and I'm inviting you to think yourself what else could you add to this beautiful piece of art? Yeah, what else could you add? Maybe some of the leaves are dropping, dwelling down to the ground. Maybe there's some grass down there, maybe some animals you want to add. I don't know, it's all up to you. So think about how to make your artwork even more beautiful. Maybe you find some nuts outside, some acorns that you want to glue to the cardboard. There's so many possibilities. Create whatever makes you happy, my friends, and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.